And our crew looks like they've spotted the camera. Oh, Mom's going to step in and show off. And Daughter's like, what are you doing, Mom? Welcome back, guys, to the greatest show on Earth, and that is the Miami Boat Ramps channel. I'm your host, Broncos Guru, in collaboration with our boy, Wavy Boats, and it's another Wavy Guru Productions back at the boat ramp, and today we are visiting 79th, and our crew is getting the party started today, and they are ready to roll, but let's see if they can keep that party going and actually land it on the dock. And we're going to get everybody involved in this one. Looks like Cuz is going to wave to the camera. We're going to get Auntie to wave to the camera. And they're going to cheer Captain on as he makes his approach. What in the world is going on? Oh no, Auntie's getting it, son. Our crew on approach here at 79th. Taking the slow roll approach, probably the best course of action. We're gonna go ahead and make our turn in. Let's see how our crew fares. Big boat, lots to get onto the dock. And we've got wifey on the stern, ready on the lines, and it looks like we got somebody up in the bow as well. Cap's going to make his turn in on to two. Up, oh, hits a little heavy throttle there. Goes for the toss. Oh, we hit the dock. And she's stuck. Oh, no. Little bow rail acrobatics going on here. Oh, no. Cap's going back in. We're going to hit a second time. And our girl, she looks like she's ready. She gets the step over and gets off onto the dock. And Cap's going to go for the three-peat and nails it. So our girl's going to come up and try and push him off. And Cap has smashed the dock three times now. And Wifey's still on the ready on the stern. She's ready to try and get this one over, but she's just too far for the toss. And we're going to get the assist from a good Samaritan walking up the dock. And Wifey will toss it off to the daughter. First miss. Second miss. Hubby's going to take over and gives it the full on toss. And that should be good enough to get these guys on the dock. But Hubby nailed it with the three-peat straight into the dock. One of those scenes we see a little bit all too often down here at 79th at the end of the day, as it appears somebody's had a little more fun out of the sandbar than they probably should have. But our crew comes in, we've got the boat hook on the ready, getting a fender out. I mean, this crew's more ready than most down here. And Cap's kind of paused. Gonna kick the stern around. Still waiting on his crew as they get it ready. Doing a good job just holding off though. You just got to get close enough for that boat hook to grab. I mean, usually this is a pretty easy pull if we got somebody on the front already. And goes for the toss. Did he hit it? It's tough to tell from this angle. No, missed the first one. Going to miss the second toss. And the third one, he gets the assist and it goes in. That took a couple seconds, though. But with the boat hook, I'm shocked. They could have just grabbed that and pulled themselves over. And man, I love this. That might be my next boat name. Salty Knots it is. That's awesome. So let's see how Salty Knots does as they try and approach the dock as well. And we got the ladies getting the lines ready. So once again, another boat going to be prepared. And they're making their approach. Cap's going to have to get this stern around. Waiting for the Sea Ray to pull out. And he's going to take their dock. So here he goes. Going to kick it around. So Cap's bringing it back around. And typically, this is where you can tell somebody who's done this a bunch. My man's keeping the motor straight. 
only using the starboard engine to kind of kick it back around. And that's usually a sign that they probably got this. It's when I start seeing everybody turn the motors, especially on these twin engine boats, that I'm like, yeah, you're probably gonna get yourself into a little bit of mischief. But he's got it lined up, in on approach, the ladies have the lines, let's see how it finishes out. So, bow line, she lands it on the first toss. Oh, but she's struggling. Man, it's like a magician, she just keeps pulling line, and it just keeps coming like a handkerchief coming out of a sleeve. And our girl on the backside nails it first toss as well. She goes for the jerk. The boat's trying to jerk her back, but they will get it pulled over. And it should be good to go. And our crew on the pro line making their way toward the dock. We've got our bow seat captain up front. Gonna give the instructions as they make their approach. One of my favorite things to watch, just somebody sitting somewhere on the boat trying to tell Cap exactly how to do it. Now maybe it's a training course. Maybe he really is helping Cap out. But we'll see if they can jump into action and get this one put to bed. So Cap gets her lined up, heading in on approach on three. Has a pretty solid angle, good approach speed. So far, so good. even killed the music so he can pay attention to what's going on. And we're going to kick that stern around a little bit and maybe we're going to get the kick out on this one. So Cat brings it back. And somebody jumps off on, but they kick the bow around. Cat looks like he's put it in reverse. And we've got somebody on the dock. They, I, I can't tell if they grab the line or not. So Cap's leaving the helm, and we're gonna try and do the walk around, and it does appear we've got a line on the dock. And I don't see a stern line anywhere though. So I guess we're gonna go without one of those. Oh, no, maybe Cap's looking for one. Yep, Cap's got one, right? Stern line? What? They're using a boogie board. They just use a leash from a boogie board as a line? They most certainly did. That's a first. I've seen lots of things used at lines at the boat ramp, but this is a first for him. Oh, we missed it. She fell. If you look down in between the docks, you're going to see somebody's hand and arm. Our girl fell off the dock. So her friends are trying to get her up. It's tough from this angle, we just can't see her, but if you look through the docks, you can see her arm. They're smiling, at least her friends are, so I'm assuming she's at least okay, which is a good sign. As if they're teasing her, <laughs> she's getting razzed a little bit here. Oh, there's a jet ski over there as well, so I'm assuming our guy there is going to help her up. Yes, we can see her getting on the ski right there. And let's see if they bring her back over to the dock. But she was, yeah, they were standing there talking to the guy, I'm assuming on the ski, and we were filming something else. And the next thing I know, I look back and there's only two of them. And our girl took a dive. So the dude on the ski is going to try and bring her back up. Let's see if her boy here can help her. And yes, they're going to get her up, and she should be good to go. And speaking of good to go, we're going to go ahead and get out of here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Miami Boat Ramps. If you did, please check out our other content. We have Wavy Boats, who does a bunch of great things down at Hallover Inlet. My channel, Broncos Guru, do some great comedy boating videos there as well. And of course, we got Boats vs. Hallover, where Machine take on Mother Nature down at Hallover Inlet. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here.